Hello, my name is Elizabeth Ashton, and here we are in our second episode of my Are You Mad podcast series. And Howard Johnson, are you mad? Hmm. Yes, I'm very <laughs> mad. I'm a mad about we're not mad enough. Mm -hmm. And we need to pay more attention to what the next level should be in being able to do something about being mad, mm -hmm. opposed to just being mad. It's about taking action and mm -hmm. going to the next level, mm -hmm. and the next level is where we need to be. That's very profound because I feel like since the pandemic, a lot of people have gotten really mad. However, hopefully we can get to that. Um, what do you think it's gonna take for humanity to get to that next level? Wow. Um, yeah. I think it has to get to the point where there isn't a point. Mm -hmm. And what that means to me is to say that when you've exhausted every possible thing there is to exhaust about it, then that's when the answer presents itself. It's like a muscle. You have to break a muscle down to make it grow. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have to be broken down as people. Sometimes we have to have our thoughts broken down to the point where you have to search and the simplicity of it all, because mm -hmm. normally that's where the answer is, is within mm -hmm. the simplicity of mm -hmm. whatever the problem is to come up with a solution. In the calm, in those um, less is more moments. Absolutely. Times, yeah, I love that. Yeah, you just bring such a peaceful energy. Oh, it's just very grounded and peaceful. Yes. Yeah. But I think I've lived a little bit and I'm living more and learning more every single day. And I just try to pay attention to the things that are around me and use that energy to be mad, but be able to take the action because that's what it's gonna take. It's, it's the action that's, that's important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. And I always say, yeah, it starts with us, right? I mean, we, we, uh, our example is what is all we can really work on, right? It's how, right. how we are with others. We can't control anybody else, but how right. we respond and how we interact with others. And, yeah. and, the, and the keys within our hand, I, I quote my father a lot, and I was told that the older you get, the more you realize how right your parents were. Mm -hmm. And what we have to do, or at least what I do, I was told by my father, is to never take the key to your happiness and put it in someone else's pocket. So mm -hmm. what that means to me is that it's all in our hands, mm -hmm. whatever it is, the decisions that we make, that it's within us. Mm -hmm. And if we take that initiative within us, that should solve all of the problems if everyone takes that initiative. Because it's all in our hands. Mm -hmm. It's all in the palm of our hands. Absolutely. Mm, that's correct. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share with us today here on this podcast? Any other messages you'd like with your wisdom? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you really do have a lot of wisdom well, to I, share. Well, I, I just want to be able to reach out more, to, to be able to give back more. Um, mm -hmm. I, I try to approach life this way, that I remember a real good friend of mine, Oba Baba Tunde, was telling me about doing auditions for you know movies that most people go to an audition to get a job and he says have you ever thought that it should be the other way around that when I come in when I do an audition I'm coming to give you something mm -hmm. you know what I mean so it goes back to what I was saying that it's in the palm of our hand and I feel like we give our power away sometimes oh, way absolutely. too easily when really absolutely. it all is within. We're all, I just feel like at the end, we all come together as one, different cultures, religions, backgrounds. And so we all have something to give and take. And even absolutely. with my kids, sometimes I feel like they're the one teaching me the lessons. Right. It's like, absolutely. you know, a lot of times we think we're in charge, but actually they're the one teaching us. So it's not always, absolutely. I understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah. So that, that, that's mm -hmm. the the goal that I'm trying to reach is to be able to better me, to be able to give more, mm -hmm. you know? So that's what I want to tell people and reach out is that be prepared uh, that Howard's going to give more uh, with the new album with Compelled. And it's really only the tip of the iceberg of what I'm trying to do. 
Absolutely. So check out his Compelled album. I'm so excited to hear it, and I love how versatile and dynamic he is. To me, that's a true artist. So please check it out. And thank you so much for coming on the show today. My pleasure. Thank you. It's for been me. a real pleasure. Pleasure's been mine.